right above the um, Malrabone Borough courts and I saw this guy with a bit of chalk drawing a line across the courts at the beginning of the summer and I was going, hmm, I wonder what that's about. And I gradually saw this theatre develop out of nothing and it was great to be able to come out onto the balcony and see the next stage in the development of the theatre itself. I'd like to see how the project included the local school, which is just next door to the courts. You've not only got the building to intrigue people, you've got the plays which are teaching people about what could happen. And you're also engaging the community, saying, oh, how can you help out? So it's bringing everybody together and saying, what have we got around here? Oh, I've got an old table, let's bring that over, we can use that as a piece of set. I think it's so rare that a project can allow so many diverse people to feel strong ownership and pride about it, but it managed to achieve that. Discomforted by her silence, Benny began to gabble. The word community is weird for me because it, it kind of it conjures up something do good ish. And actually, that's not the intention. The intention is to have a real conversation with the community. And when you're making theatre, the community is not only the people within a particular vicinity, but it's also anybody who comes and gets involved in the theatre. The community is a many, many level thing. I took some of the water bottles that should have been on the outside of the theatre and asked if I could have some, and now I'm using them as mini greenhouses for my plants on the balcony. We're using the recycling element, but also the ethos of the project, the fact that the two productions have been linked to flooding. Um, I remember I went to a recent meeting, um, council meeting of the area, and they were all talking about how in 50 years this area could be completely underwater. So having that kind of the back of your mind while you're watching these plays and the, it's raining outside, 